Hello everyone, my name is Jinghua Piao, and I am a math student in Tsinghua University. First of all, thanks for attending my talk today. I will present my work of predicting customer value with social relationship via motive-based graph attention networks. Here is the outline. As business forms become service-based, companies make efforts to manage good relationships with their customers and get sustainable revenues from these relationships. Defined as predicting the profits that each customer brings to the company in a future period, the customer value prediction task is essential and fundamental to customer relationship management. Existing methods only focus on customers' individual attributes, but do not take social relationships into consideration. However, it has demonstrated that social relationships could greatly affect customers' purchase decisions. Therefore, the lack of consideration on the effects of social influence would arouse concerns on these models. To bridge this gap, in this paper, we aim to incorporate social network information into the customer value prediction task. To achieve the goal, we face three challenges. First, although growing evidence suggests that the influence propagated in social networks affects people's decision-making process, it is unclear whether and which social network structures contain useful signals for the task. Thus, it is difficult to extract useful signals from social network structures. Second, as a typical complex networks, social networks contain higher order features at the level of small subgraphs. However, it is challenging to capture and utilize these higher order features. And it is even harder to distinguish informative higher order structures related to customer value. Third, the effects of customer individual attributes and social influence on customer value can be dependent and entangled. For example, customer attributes such as personality and occupation can determine one's power to influence others' people. And su susceptibility to influence influence Therefore, it is challenging to model such complex effects of individual attributes and social influence. Formally, our task can be formulated as predict customer value with customer attributes and social networks. Specifically, the customer attributes include customers' demographics and purchase history. In addition, Social networks are constructed based on customers' social relations, including friendship, trust relation, and others. The outputs, namely the predicted targets, are customer value. Here, we use the total amount of money or efforts that the customer will spend on the platform to measure it, which can reflect the value of the relationship with the customer. To begin with, we validated our fundamental hypothesis. Social network structures are highly correlated with customer value and informative to the prediction task. Based on these observations, we put forward the model framework MAG, motive-based multi-view graph attention networks with gated fusion. The basic idea behind it is to jointly model the effects of customer attributes and their social network structures on customer value. There are five parts in MAG. Here, I will introduce them respectively. First, in the input layer, we construct the social networks and customer embeddings based on customers' demographics transaction history, and the social interactions. Then, we utilize motifs to explicitly extract higher-order information in the social network 
and construct multiple motif networks. Specifically, motif is a kind of predefined special subgraphs. If the relation among nodes is the same as that in the motif, these nodes are adjacent in the motif network. For example, the links of the original network, which can match motif T7, will be retained in the new motif T7 network. After constructing n different motif networks, we perform graph convolutional operations on each motif network to obtain their network embeddings. Considering not all motif networks are equally important, we adopt a tension mechanism to fuse them, which can ensure that high weights are automatically assigned to informative ones. Further, to model the complex effects of customer attributes and social influence, we design the gated fusion module which consists of two gate structures. The R gate is designed for carving out the customer's susceptibility to influence, and the Z gate is designed to jointly model the complex effects of customer attributes and social influence on customer value. Finally, we adopted multiple fully connected layers to map the fused embedding to the predicted value. We evaluated our method on two datasets collected from real-world platforms. One is Beidian, a leading social e-commerce platform where customer value is reflected in the total amount of money that a customer spends on the platform. The other is Epians, a product review site where customer value is reflected by the number of product reviews that a customer contributes to the platform. We utilize the three widely adopted metrics in regression task, mean absolute error, mean absolute percentage error, and the symmetric mean absolute percentage error. We include MAE, for its robustness to outliers, MAPE and SMAPE for their ability to interpret relative errors. We compare MAG with three lines of state-of-the-art baselines, including traditional machine learning models, network embeddings, and graph neural networks. Extensive experiments show that MAG constantly outperforms all baseline in terms of all metrics on two datasets. In addition, comparing the results of three random forest models, as well as MAG with network embeddings and GNN methods, we demonstrate that the utilization of network structures especially higher order structures captured by motif networks, is beneficial to the prediction task. We also conducted an ablation study, which further proves the effectiveness of higher order structures and the joint modeling of customer attributes and social influence. Furthermore, we make an in-depth analysis of motifs the important higher order information extracted by answering the three questions. Question one, do more motifs guarantee better performances? Question two, how do different motifs contribute to customer value prediction? Question three, why are specific motifs informative? First, we find out that properly introduce certain motifs can contribute to better performances, but the additional gains rapidly become marginal. One possible explanation is that more motif introduce actual parameters, which is more likely to induce overfitting problem. Moreover, 
we discovered that motives are not equally informative to the task. Among motives, these are the most informative ones. Along this line, we take a deep dive into these informative motives. We find that informative motives can selectively filter out multiple edges and efficiently select neighborhoods. However, the uninformative ones introduce an exponentially large number of actual ed edges and neighborhoods. These results indicate a critical function of informative motives is extracting useful connections. Specifically, the fully connected motive TIF12 and S4 showed the great ability to detect high-value communities, indicating a close relationship. The down-linked mutual diet motive T8 reflects the interplay between social influence and economic behaviors. In conclusion, to the best of our knowledge, we are the first to incorporate social network structures, especially higher order structures, into the customer value prediction task. Our proposed MAG jointly models the effects of customer attributes and the social influence showing superior performances over baselines. More, more diverse motives cannot guarantee better performances, since motives are unequally inf informative, especially the fully connected and the down-linked mutual diet motives are effective in predicting customer value. For future work, first, Customer value prediction is a long-standing management problem, and abundant domain knowledge has been accumulated. Future work could explicitly incorporate the knowledge into the predictive models. Second, considering the model might introduce potential biases to customers with different demographics, Future work could design methods to remove these potential biases. Third, there are multiple stakeholders and interests involved. Thus, it is necessary to follow the paradigm of value sensitive design and constantly evaluate and refine the, the overall system. Thank you.